Just move the coyotes. Don't do another expansion team. Right? They, they would never cross my mind. So somebody called the house when I was out mowing the grass. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Your face is like purple. Are you still up? Now in your fifth season, it's Buffalo After Dark. Welcome to Buffalo After Dark, everybody. If you're wondering why we're recording an episode early, well, hey, we wanted to start Season 5. It is our annual fantasy football draft that all of us tend to do every year. So we figured, well, hey, we'll we'll kick off with this instead of the top five we usually do to start out the season. But it is nice to be back. How's it going, man? Um, I'm good. It's been a pretty good summer overall. I had to deal with your stupid ass in Philadelphia earlier this year. So I, I kind of feel better about that. But in general, though, I've been good. And uh, here's a little tip for those of you who don't know. I've actually started to learn how to play an instrument. Yeah. Would you believe me if I have told you that? <laughs> well, you told me a little bit about it. You also told me you broke the instrument already. So... Well, I mean, I'm learning. So for those of you who are wondering, I'm actually starting to play the five-string banjo because I am a big fan of the Appalachian Mountains. I love, like, the countryside and all that jazz. And my brother and his fiance just moved into a brand-new house out in the country not too long ago, and I'm seeing him in mid-October, and I plan on bringing the banjo there. So I want to get some practice in and then get some lessons. And once I do that... And then obviously I'm going to move forward and uh, I'm going to start playing the banjo and beyond. That's my plan. Gotcha. Well, well, it's all good, man. And it was a nice time down in um, in Long Island and Philadelphia and all that fun stuff. And, you know, basically with... Um, Here's the thing about Fantasy Drift. Out, it's, um, and, of course, we got the nice little... Uh, Nice little preview thing of the draft going on. But, but no, it was a good time. It was nice to see you down there. And then, of course, um, didn't have as much of a behemoth truck this time. But, no, it was still fun. We got to see uh, the, the Phillies uh, totally whoop the Guardians' ass ate nothing, which that was fun. And if you guys um, haven't looked, um, we do have the Road to 32 episode up. And then, um, other than that, we're less than two months away from our Seattle trip, which, uh, depending on how things go out, who knows? We might even go live from Seattle at some point. So, so yeah. it'll be interesting to see, but yeah, we've got our place all set up. We've got the car rental all set up. We're good to go, and you know we're looking forward to it. So we will see how yeah. things work out. Yeah, but we should also mention that for those of you who are looking for season five's opener, uh, usually we have it on a Wednesday, but Tom can't do it. So we're going to push it back from our traditional Wednesdays, which usually is the day before the start of the season. We're going to actually push it to Saturday. So it's not September 4th. It's going to be Saturday, September 7th at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I think from that episode on, we're going to do all of our episodes moving forward on Wednesdays like we normally do. Yeah, so so nothing too much different there. Just um, I know we both had some commitments come up, so... So that part's all good there, but otherwise, uh, we're only about a minute and a half from the draft. So, of course, if anyone's wondering, uh, Rob got the first pick, Adam's got pick number two, Dumbass here is pick number three, <laughs> I've got pick number four, uh, the better half of Bobby, <laughs> a.k.a. Brittany, has uh, pick number five, and uh, Andy, who's a little under the weather, has pick number six. Yep. Andy Van Queer is going to be getting pick number six. So, and last year, everyone gave me shit, say, oh, you rigged it in favor of yourself, and you did this, and you did that, and then I'm just like, I don't do shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm, listen, I run a fantasy football league in my, uh, in my job. So, what I do with my job are all people I work with, those people will always accuse me for rigging the, the, draft order and i'm just like no way man i don't even know how that works because that's considered cheating but either way we're just under 20 seconds until the start of the draft so this ought to be very right. interesting yep. and i'm very excited to do that yeah and of course um hopefully rob actually shows up on time because uh right now uh so far he's not here so <laughs> well he's on the clock so well yeah he's gonna be starting up now so all right, and with the first pick of the 2024, Buff it's open. Yep, 
And with the first pick of the 2024 NFL mock draft, oh, he got taken already. Christian McCaffrey has he, been taken. He knew that was going to be a first pick. That's no surprise. McCaffrey got taken first. Adam's going to be pissed. CeeDee Lamb. Okay. Well, I have another one for you guys. Jetta. Ah, okay. Well, I took Jetta. Yep, it's little... your turn, Rob. Yep. So, what I am going to do is. It's like B. John, John Robinson. Robinson. Brittany's on the clock at number five. <laughs> and Rob's saying, oh, I'm having Wi-Fi issues with my laptop. <laughs> well, congratulations. Yeah, really. Tyreek Hill. Didn't you take him last year? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I could have sworn you did. Because yeah. I remember you made a... Two of, two of my picks are going to score. <laughs> <laughs> Who, McCaffrey and uh, C.D. Lamb? Yeah. Well, there's plenty of room for uh, improvement down the road. So Andy's on the clock at picks number six and seven, and then it goes back in order. Amon Ross St. Brown has just been taken at number six. <laughs> I wanted him. Wow, look at you go. Andy's back on the clock at number seven. Okay. Who are you taking, Andy? You're at number seven, buddy. Of course, laptop is having Wi Fi issues. No. <laughs> Brent's his, mad at you, said, Rob. He said his phone's alright, so. See, no, really, CD was my first one, so I knew it. So I knew McCaffrey was going to be first. I knew it. You know what's funny? When I did my um, when I did my draft last week for my job, mm -hmm. I was going to take CD Lamb, but I took Jetta first because I knew. My big thing with running backs is I don't like taking running backs in the first overall pick, simply just because of the idea that, oh, Jamar Chase just got taken, so it's your turn. You're going to be mad at me. Ooh. Why? You son of a bitch. I took your beloved Josh. That's okay. I have a better idea. I think there's a few people going to be mad at me on this pick. Marvin Harrison Jr.? Yep. All right. You want to play that game? All right, fuckers. <laughs> Watch this. C.J. Stroud. Ah, drafting a QB early. Yeah. Okay. How do you like that, huh? Can you figure out when, Ty when the Dolphins bye week is? Miami? Yeah. Miami's bye week is... Dot, 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 dot. Where's Miami? Week six. Thank you. You're welcome. Brees Hall just got taken. So, damn. Damn, Adam. Wow, we're rocking and rolling with this. Yeah. Jameer Gibbs. Okay, Jonathan Taylor just got picked up. Sweet. Garrett Wilson just got taken. Wow. Fine. Fine. I'm taking the king. Mmm, there you go. All right, who do I want to get with? Oh. This is why okay. I don't tell anybody what I'm doing. Take that, bitch. <laughs> I got CJ Stroud, so I ain't complaining. Yeah, I just picked up Mahomes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> mm -hmm. David Montgomery. Okay. All right. Brittany just took David Montgomery in number 17. My week was five, right? For the Dolphins? No, uh, Detroit. Detroit? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Let me see. Detroit, you said, right? Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. Yeah, week five. And he's really taking his time with these next two picks. Mm hmm. Milking the clock. <laughs> it's 
So, Tom, did you enjoy Philadelphia? It was a good time. I enjoyed it. It was definitely fun. Yeah, what was your favorite part about it? Um, I mean, there were quite a few. I mean, I definitely enjoyed the ball game. I mean, that was a nice stadium, honestly. First time ever going to Citizens Bank Park, so that part was good. Yeah, running, you and me both. Yeah, running the Rocky, uh, running the steps at the Rocky statue. Those are always fun, yeah. yeah. Ooh, double dipped. So Andy just took Saquon Barkley and James Kett- uh, no, James Cook. Ooh, nice job. There goes Brandon Ayuk, nice who just got a handsome new extension job. with the 49ers. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually I'm trying to think. Do I want to? Yeah, so for those of you who are wondering, just to give you an idea for Road to 32, ooh, okay, Debo Samuel. Yeah, and Rob's you actually know, joining us live here on the show. Yay! What's up, Rob? You know what? Yeah, he's Since connecting. he's still available on the board, fuck oh. you guys. Holy shit, Rob is actually alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A- am I good? I'm yeah. alive. <laughs> yeah, you're alive and well, and you came back from the dead. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Oh, he froze. Oh, again. Okay. Yo, I like my team thus far. Mike Evans. All Ooh. right, this ought to be interesting. Okay. Puka Nakua. That's a nice pick. All right. That's how you want to play? Mm. Sam Laporta. Okay. Okay. I Mm. like it. Let's see. All right. I think I know what I'm going to do here. Yeah, go with my boy Nico Collins. Ooh, Nico Collins. All right, Britt's back on the clock, and she's taking Mark Andrews. Taking a chance on him. You know what's funny? I just right now became automatically the best tight end duo in any of the teams this year because I have both Travis Kelsey and Sam Laporta. Mm-hmm. But wait, what was that comment you just said? Kelsey did not do good for me last year. He was serviceable, but he was not, like, high performance at all. Right. Well, right. But when he counted, he counted the most. I think that was the big thing about Travis Kelsey. Mm-hmm. I guess it's also because of the whole Taylor Swift phase that happened last year. So oh, I, I see Diggs in a Texan uniform. Yeah. Well, apparently, oh, I, guess, you your... well, I guess Rob mentioned his laptops mad at him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> By the way, you know he's stirring shit already with CJ Stroud. No, I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, it was like during the preseason. I forget who the Texans were playing, but um, he was throwing a bitch fit because he had like nothing. He had like no stats on his sheet at all. Mm-hmm. So he had like no receptions, no touchdowns, no nothing. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it was in the preseason, and this happened during when the Bills were playing the Steelers. A couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if you guys heard, uh, Ricky Pearsall walked out of the hospital yesterday. That I've heard. But, I mean, I'm happy for him. Yeah, same here. You know, play that song, Many Men by 50 Cent. Mm-hmm. Chris Olave, good choice. Let's see. Your turn, Tom. Yep. I'm debating. Do I want to go running back? Do I want to go... Yeah, so just a friendly reminder for everybody, what I was saying before about Road to 32 is... 
Britt and I are going to Baltimore for week four on primetime between the Ravens and the Bills. So just a quick heads up. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Jalen Hurts. Yeah, my nice second place. QB. <laughs> All right. If that's the game you want to play, y'all, fuck you guys. I'm taking the 49ers defense. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I'm loaning this year. But no, in all seriousness, um, Britt and I will be in Baltimore in week four for Road to 32 for the Bills Ravens game on primetime on Sunday Night Football mm-hmm. between Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. That's going to be a hell of a game. I, I can't wait to go to that game. That I'm just be excited because the funny thing about Baltimore was Britt and I were talking about it very mm-hmm. briefly last year when we were going to do Road to 32 last year when we saw the Commanders. And Britt and I were talking about Baltimore. And we were just like, well, if they play each other next year, then that's great. You know, we'll see them soon in the near future. And it came a lot sooner than we expected. So I, I'm really glad that it came out the way it did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sales going to be a fun, fun stadium to go to. I mean, just with the fact that, I mean, it, it'll be my first time in the Northwest in over 20 years. It'll be your first time out, ever out there. So, Well, yeah, I think the closest I've ever gotten to being, like, as far as out is Ireland in 2018. Britt and I took like a nine or 10 day trip to Ireland and that was fun on its own. But like, that's not in the Pacific Northwest. I, I know that I said, as far as like going as far as out as that, I know Ireland's not in the Pacific Northwest. I'm just generally speaking. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. For this West I ever went was Idaho. And then I've also been in California, Arizona and Nevada before, but, but no Washington state, that'll be a new one. All right, running back. Dreg London just got taken. Okay. All right, Pacheco is gone. He's Yeah, he's gone. Who took him? You took him? No, I said who took him. I don't know. Uh, I do have an idea. Uh, Adam took him. Oh, Adam took him? Yep. And then Rob took A-Chain. All right. Um, I'm taking I'm taking K-9. Okay. Uh, let's do. I'm taking K9. All right. I'm going to take Travis ATN Jr. All right. I can't complain. Can use another wide receiver. Dak. Whoa. So good for the last year. You do realize that if he doesn't have a contract by mid September, he's gonna be a free agent. It's okay, mm-hmm. he's not Ooh, I know who I'm taking for my next pick. Is that who you're taking? Who? Well, that's up. No. There goes Brock Purdy. Yeah. I'm not surprised that Andy took Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> well, he is a 49ers man. Right. You were going to take him? I was close to, All right, Andy, who are you taking? 20 seconds on the clock. You know, to be honest, I can't wait to see how this all plays out. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be an interesting season either way. And for those of you watching the show, you'll actually notice we have a new logo that debuted. Yeah, we, uh, we're going to be unveiling a new logo either here in the draft board tonight or whenever you... Fuck you! I was going to say Justin Tucker. I know! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! You! Oh. <laughs> I, took you I took Joshy and Tucker. And Tucker, yes. Tucker. Well, I did take CJ Stroud, so that's not entirely a bad thing. But you know what? All I'm right. going to take Josh Allen's daddy as my next pick. Got my tight end. Joe Burrow! See if you can stay healthy with you. Listen, if Joe Burrow goes down, then I got CJ Stroud. If Stroud goes down, I got Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't complain. Right. That, that's one way I can right. describe it. Watch, watch Burrow blow a knee out again. <laughs> oh, 
God. Isn't Mark Andrews bound to blow his knee off, too? Yeah, that, too. That's why I said I'm taking a chance on him. So I took him two years ago, and he got injured. Right, I remember that. We'll see. You know what's funny? I was very close to taking Jordan Love, but I said, you know what? I don't know enough about Jordan Love statistically to take him, but I... He, he, I had him last year. He did. He was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's my turn to draft. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm surprised. Wow, there's some good players on this list. Mm -hmm. But who would I take is the question. Right. Hmm. Oh, boy. There's a lot of good ones in here. Ah, what the hell? Cooper Cup. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's see. All right, so I figured, what the hell? I'm going to take a get my first defense in here. Baltimore. Mm -hmm. See, you saw what I did with San Francisco, and now everybody's jumping on it. No, I was gonna do. I was gonna do a D this round too. Were you? Yeah, and I did. What's Andy gonna do? So Ravens defense is gone. The Forty Nine ers defense is gone, and now the Browns. You know that was very smart. They took the Browns. They actually do have a pretty decent defense. Who, Cleveland? Yeah. Too bad they have a predator for a quarterback. Yeah, yeah Deshaun Watson. <laughs> and the fact that they gave up that many picks for him. It's funny because I saw an interview where Cal McNair's wife went on an interview recently, and she was mm -hmm. saying that she thanked the Browns for being gullible for taking – uh, Deshaun Watson off their hands. Right. Because if you think about what that, I think that trade alone helped the, helped, um, what was I going to say? That trade alone helped the Texans out so much. Because mm -hmm. if it weren't for that trade, they would not be able to get the groundwork for uh, CJ Stroud. They wouldn't be able to get the groundwork for all the other players that they've been drafting. They wouldn't have the groundwork for like getting someone like Stephon Diggs. They mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to do all that. Right. Oh, and one thing I will point out. So, of course, remember the whole um, situation with Matariza? The Kansas City Chiefs have named him the starting punter. Of course they did. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you, Buffalo Bills, for cutting him. <laughs> hey, we all accused him for it, okay? I said that innocent until proven guilty, but everyone jumped on the bandwagon because of the whole allegation thing at the time. Right. Hmm? I did I know you didn't, but I didn't either. But yeah, I mean, we didn't, we didn't on the show. Actually, it was just a matter of, basically, it is what it is. All right, took my second defense. I'm gonna take J E T S. Suck, suck, suck. <laughs> you ser as you seriously took the Jets defense? <laughs> I, I was actually considering them too. Uh, I many people in the bye week of twelve. Right. Oh, just not all terrible. I mean, Sauce Gardner is pretty damn good, though. Right. Uh, just in case you're wondering to mess her up four one on the Red Sox. Yeah. Oh, you thought that was bad? Wait, my defense. I have the North Niners and I have the Jets, so they're out of the picture. Who do I have as my starters? Okay, I think I got it. Wow, I'm surprised he's still on the board because I'm gonna fucking take him. There's actually some. There's actually some really good players on the board still. Jalen Waddle. I'm gonna take Jalen Waddle. Okay. I know Britt loves Jalen Waddle because I think she had him on his fan on her fantasy team last year. Jalen Waddle. Yeah. Didn't you have him last year? I don't think so. I could have sworn you did. Tyreek. You had Tyreek and you had Amari Cooper. I you, had, that team last you had CD Lamb. You had. Nick Chubb, I think, and then you had um, somebody oh, I else. Never had Nick Chubb. Yep. You didn't have Nick Chubb. No. Yep, just took my starting kicker. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Figured I'd take Butker since he was the best available kicker on the board. Okay. 
After that, I could care less who I take in that spot. Harrison Bucker's off. Jalen Waddle's off. Prince at 65. Kansas City defense is off. And I'm ended up taking them. Don't know who to pick. Ten seconds. I'm just gonna take them. Who are you taking? I took Goddard. You took Dallas Goddard. Yeah. I didn't want to take him though. I need another tight end. And the one that really wanted, I ha again, I have too many people on that buy. You know, Hawkinson is still available. I didn't want him. He's so good. He's he's iffy. He can, when he's good, he's good. When he's not, he's okay. He's gonna be back on the Vikings by week five, so he's easily available. He would immediately become like the number one tight end on your team. And apparently, out of everybody in the league so far, like I just looked at the draft board, Rob has more than enough wide receivers. So he, he has a whole team of wide receivers. He's got three of them right now. Jesus. So he's drafted more than more wide receivers than the rest of us. I didn't even take a third wide receiver yet. Yep. Yeah, I haven't either. When's the, when's the uh, Eagles by week? Eagles by week? Uh, Eagles by week is five. Week five it's for Philadelphia. Five. Four. Your, it's your turn. Three, two, one. <laughs> I didn't realize it was my turn. <laughs> Jake Elliott. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I didn't realize it was my turn. <laughs> you reacted quickly. Because I had it ready. I just didn't realize it was my turn. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there he is. Jake Moody. Okay. That's not a bad constellation prize. No, no, it's definitely not. I was surprised Joe Mixon was still on the board. Who? Joe Mixon. Oh. All right, Rob took the Steelers' defense, unsurprisingly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Russell Wilson just got named her starter. <laughs> Short and Love just got taken. Ooh, okay. I don't know what's going to have more wins this year, your hairline or your fantasy team, Tom. <laughs> hey, my hair is actually doing not too bad. I know because it left the dental toll. Jason Sanders, all right. Well, because this is a two kicker league. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, I just got like part of it like shaved, also. So. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna. Yeah. Evan McPherson. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So You're up. Oh. Yep. Oh, next. You're next, yeah. Tom's on the clock at 76. And it's back to the order. Yep. I'm actually surprised he's still available. Rashad White. Mm-hmm. All right, I can deal with that. All right, so at least I got Mark Cooper. Everything filled. An I just need a flex. Mm -hmm. God damn, he's still on the board. I'm shocked. Who, Devontae Adams? No, not Devontae Adams. Someone else. I'm not taking the risk on Devontae Adams. Right. I like the guy, but I just I'm just not taking it this year. Jake Ferguson just got taken. Ooh. Who's gonna put up more production? That's gonna be the big question. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. You're on the clock. Now you're not. 
And you just took the Dolphins defense. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, Tom, you're back on the clock. Let's see. Do I want a chance to find any Adams? Yeah, like is that what it is? Yeah, I'm filling in the blanks. I have five picks left. There is a player on this board that I really like. But I'm hoping I can double dip. How many wide receivers do I have? Fuck. <laughs> DJ Moore. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Bless you. <laughs> you little anime sneeze. Hey, hey, look. Zay Flowers. Ah, okay. Finally, nobody took him. All right, Adam's on the clock. Hey, Adam said you wanted to be here, and he's not even here. <laughs> Well, he took Kaimi Fairbairn, best kicker on the board. Oh, Jesus right Christ. Now. And then Rob just double-dipped Evan Ingram and James Conner. Damn. Wow. Look at him go. Nick Chubb. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take the diva himself. Oh, God. Have fun. It's <laughs> a risky move, Tom. I know. He's already thrown a bitch fit in Houston. I know. Or he mostered. <laughs> and he's like, I'll join in after the draft. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be talking after, so okay. Yeah. We'll be talking for a little bit. Sure. Your excuse. And he's got two picks. Mm -hmm. He's thinking really hard about this next pick. Right. Young Ho Koo. Ooh, okay. Okay. You're on the clock, Andy, again, and then Brittany. And then you, and then me. Mm -hmm. How do you like your team so far, Tom? I think it's balanced in a lot of ways, which is good. I mean... I definitely want to read the reviews. For... <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be fun seeing that. Oh, Roman Dunze, that's a risk. Jared Ooh. Goff. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's a good one. He's still on. Let's let's do this. Aaron Jones. Hmm. Fair a little bit of depth. Sure, why not? I just saw him. There he is. Dawson Knox. Ooh. Old reliable. Okay. Why not? Malik Neighbors, another quarterback. Okay. Or another wide receiver, excuse me. Well, who am I really lacking? Let's see. I have three running backs, two kickers. No, our buddy was mentioning basically if you if you wanted to do so, uh, snow kwami if it rains for a few days that river fills up super fast <laughs> I guess that'll be weather dependent right I have four wide receivers
I should probably take a running back. Well, of course he's available. So I got to take a look at him. Uh, 45 seconds. Okay. I got time. Uh, mm, I don't know. May as well do it. Ramondre Stevenson. Mm, okay. looking at him. Mm. All right. Is that good? Have next two picks. Yeah, three picks left. Got to make it count. Yep. So I'm thinking right now. Just want at least a little bit of depth. So we'll go with Dalton Schultz. Okay. Pick number 100, Chris Godwin. That's not a bad pick, Chris Godwin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and he took DeAndre Swift. Ooh. That's not a bad pick. I was thinking about taking DeAndre Swift, but then I said, you know what? I'm going to do something else. And mm -hmm. I did. Texans D. Interesting. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! All right. She took freaking um, Rashi Rice. Ah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, God. My death's going to have to really stand out. <laughs> you raised yep. me too well. I know. I created a monster. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get another running back in here just so I have some depth. Javante William. Well, sorry, Rob. George Pickens. <laughs> now, uh, I was going my... back and forth there. <laughs> No, not the next one, the one after. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually, it's, it's funny you took Pickens, because I had thought about that. <laughs> oh, good pick with Tyler Bass, Rob. He's been missing everything. <laughs> I don't think the Bills are going to replace him, though, at this point. I mean, if he's done horrible throughout the season, I consider it, but... Yeah, if it's, like, totally brutal to the point, then that's one thing, but... Then I would consider it, but right. I wouldn't think too much into it. Zemir White. Interesting. All right, I'm taking him. Okay. You know what? I haven't looked at it. Oh, wait, I did. Brian Robinson. Mm, okay. Here's... I'm going to do something a little crazy here. What are you going to do? Took another QB. I've got three of them. Why? Yeah. I have two. You have three also? I have two active and one on the back oh, yeah. Fine. I guess I'm going to have to do it. May as well get with the times. Because when one of your QBs go, it has a bye. Mm-hmm. Well, I also have Joe Burrow, so that's... that's yeah, a... You can have two active QBs. Right. In this league? Yes. Two active QBs, and then one on the bench for when they go in the buys. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Andy has two picks left. Yep. Isaiah Likely just got taken. Mm. Matthew Stafford is next on the clock. As far as Likely, it's on there. So... Good pick at 114. Detroit Lions are looking really good right now. The Lions? Yeah, with what I saw so far, just like in the preseason. A lot of people don't talk enough about about the Bears. The Bears. It, it'll be interesting to see what Caleb Williams does over there, quite honestly. Right. <laughs> TJ Hawkinson. Surprised he uh, got taken this late. Right.
Last pick, Britt. And then afterwards, we can read all the teams that we've drafted. Khalil Shakir. Damn. Holy crap. <laughs> I, for I forgot about him. Same here. Like, I totally never even thought about that. I forgot about Shakir. Wow. And she's got Josh Allen also. She, yeah. she is not trading Josh Allen by any means. I did it despite right? you. That's okay. I got <laughs> freaking Jordan, uh, Joe Burrow and uh, CJ Stroud. You mm -hmm. like Stroud, though. I do like Stroud. There you go. I didn't say I didn't like him. The Stroud family. All right. You see what I did there? It's like my last kicker it, that I needed, so. Okay. So, with my last pick, I'm going with Trevor Lawrence. Wow. Oh. He actually stayed on the board that long. It's, After his downfall this season. <laughs> remember like two years ago, two drafts ago, I took Sam Darnold? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, that was priceless. Then he made that, that bullshit pick last year at the end. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Okay, let's take a look at our fantasy teams. Yep. Do I leave the thing? Yes. So, so we'll go basically... Yeah, so we'll go in order. So with Adam, with what he has here, he went with Richardson, C.D. Lamb, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Kyron Williams, Kyle Pitts, A.J. Brown, Isaiah Pacheco, Drake London, Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, Malik Neighbors, Terry McLaurin, Deontay Johnson, Zamir White, Keenan Allen. Then he's got Jason Sanders and Kaimi Fairbairn as his kickers, and he has the Kansas City and Pittsburgh defense. Not bad. Yep, yeah, and then for me, I have C.J. Stroud, Justin Jefferson, Cooper Cup, Derrick Henry, Kenneth Walker III, Travis Kelsey, Sam Laporta, Jalen Waddell, Zay Flowers, Joe Burrow, Jake Moody, Evan McPherson, the 49ers defense, the Jets defense, Nick Chubb, Dawson Knox, Ramondre Stevenson, George Pickens, um, Brian Robinson Jr., and Trevor Lawrence. And then, let's see, for my team here, got Patty Mahomes, Marvin Harrison Jr., Debo Samuel, Bijan Robinson, Travis Etienne, Trey McBride, Nico Collins, Joe Mixon, Rashad White, Jalen Hurts, DJ Moore, Stefan Diggs, Aaron Jones, Dalton Schultz, Javante Williams, Jaden Daniels. Then I have Harrison Bucker and Jake Bates as kickers, and I have the Baltimore and Dallas defense. All right, hmm. Britt, we've got your team up. You can read mine. Want right. me to read yours? Okay. Um. Well, first off, where is your team? Yeah, I'm trying to find Britt's team. Okay. Well, I mean... Okay. So, how do I read your board? Okay, here we go. I think here we go. Yeah. So you took Tyreek Hill. Josh Allen, David Montgomery, Brandon Ayuk, Mark Andrews, Crystal Lave, Dak Prescott, Justin Tucker, the Cleveland Browns defense, Najee Harris, Dallas Goddard, Jake Elliott, Amari Cooper, Dolphins defense, Raheem Mostert, Jared Goff, Chris Godwin, Raji Rice, Isaiah Likely, and Khalil Shakir. And then, let's see, did we do Rob's team yet? I don't believe so. Okay. So, Rob, he has Kyler Murray, Mike Evans, Puka Nakua, Christian McCaffrey, Jameer Gibbs, George Kittle, DK Metcalf, Jonathan Taylor, Devon Achain, Tank Dell, T. Higgins, Jordan Love, Devontae Smith, Evan Ingram, James Conner, Kelvin Ridley. He has Chris Boswell and Tyler Bass as kickers, and then he has the Minnesota and Chicago defense. So I, 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 I really like my team. I do. Yeah. And then and then last but not least, Andy's team, I've got him up on here. So he so he drafted uh Lamar Jackson, Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamar Chase, Saquon Barkley, James Cook, Dalton Kincaid, Michael Pittman Jr., which Trevor would love that pick. Uh, we've got Elvin Kamara, Christian Watson, Mr. Irrelevant, Jake Ferguson, Roma Dunze, DeAndre Swift, 
Matthew Stafford, TJ Hawkinson. He's got Brandon Aubrey and Young Ho Ku as his kickers, and then he has three defenses Buffalo, Philly, and Houston. Yeah, this is a this has been a pretty good draft. I mean, I, I really want to read how I did on the uh draft board, you know, like how do we Yeah Usually? Yeah, usually it comes out like a day after or something. I oh, bet you read it like the same night before. Yeah, that's true. She is actually right. We actually have heard that before where you can actually read the projected roster. And as of right now, I am projected with a 53% chance to beat Andy in week one with this core. Nice. And the funny thing is CJ Stroud has one more fantasy point than Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you've got That'll be interesting. everything there. Got the standings. Let me see. I have. Oh, and it has projected stats already for the season. Oh fucking Christ! What what is it? What do we got? Me being number one. <laughs> so, you? Yeah, it has me at one. It has Rob at two, Adam at three, you at four, Britt at five, and Andy at six. Interesting. Yeah, and that's just like total points, like all together. So it's just um, interesting to kind of see, like, how that's all coming up. But Well, I can certainly say that we're in for another exciting season of fantasy football. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. So so with that, of course, actually, the good thing is, is now you can actually see us on here for the first time this season because I took the draft board off. But uh, we're going to have some fun. Absolutely. So we are down to... Two days, 23 hours, 8 minutes, and 1 second until Thursday night, which is the opening game, which unfortunately Tom and I will not be able to cover, which is the Chiefs and the Ravens to start the season. But we will be, we will review that game, and we will also review the game that takes place in Brazil on Friday between the Packers and the Eagles. That'll be interesting to see what happens with Friday Night Football. That's like a first. Yeah, the first ever... Uh, game in brazil as well and it's also the first ever friday night game in the regular season aside from a holiday yep yep absolutely and then right now uh the way it looks is uh young's on the mound um to try and get the save here but the mets are up 4-1 in the top of the eighth over the red Sox. yep which i will say that that mess game i went to when i was down visiting you which you took a good one to bow out on because that was an eight nothing ass kicking <laughs> yeah against cleveland no, I meant the Mets game. Oh, the Mets game, yeah. That I went to with my friend Kate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you decided you, you were just out of it. You didn't want to go to it. So then my friend Kate, who happened to be in New York City at the time that I was down there, you are like, well, rather than you know lose the tickets, we end up doing that. But, yeah, that was an 8 nothing ass whipping. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, kind of funny. 8 to nothing both nights, except we saw one win and one loss. Mm. So... Although it was absolutely hilarious that the Guardians were down like that much at like the top of the or beginning of the or end of the fourth. The funny thing about um the funny thing about my team is Dawson Knox is the weakest linked player, which is very interesting. Because him and Dalton Kincaid mm-hmm. are a duo and they both get touches, which right. is very interesting. Yeah, it looks like Young just got a strikeout, and he's only had seven pitches in the save attempt so far. Yeah, Nick Chubb is going to be on IR till week after week four, and then he'll be ready to go by week five. And that's why I drafted him because I know exactly what he's going to be going into. So I'm willing to wait a month for him to come back and full display, and then be ready to go. Mm-hmm. At least that's how I looked at it. Yeah, I mean, it, and it'll be interesting as as we go forward with the teams this year because I mean I think. You know, just with what I'm seeing so far, I should be in pretty good shape. But then, of course, as we know, injuries happen. There's a lot of crazy things that will take place over the season. So it'll just be a matter of time to see how things work out. The fact that Brett's got (laughs) Josh Allen again. Oh, yeah. Oh, and guess what? Adam's like, who did I get in the draft? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you auto-drafted. And you also bitch that you wanted to have the draft on Monday. Right. <laughs> you bitched about it, and now you're going to get what you want.
He's got a pretty good team, though. He does. So like, just send me a screenshot. Yeah, we can send it to you a little bit later. You little fucking bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Can't even Fuck. get into his Yahoo. Oh, nice. That's lovely. Yeah. So, did you have fun overall? Yeah, of course. It's always fun doing the draft. Always fun doing these. And I'm hoping Absolutely. my dynasty league I can win some money this year. We actually had a, had like two teams drop out. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, we still have twelve teams. So, Damn. So we've got got some money flowing around with that, which is good. Without a doubt. So, all right, Tom. So I guess that will be it for the 2024 fantasy football league for buffalo after dark and uh i'm sure we're gonna see the new logo on the screen when this gets fully uploaded yep. and we will like i said earlier we will be on the air on saturday at 8 p.m on september 7th you don't want to miss it mm -hmm. yeah lots of fun stuff coming up um we're gonna try to get some new things going on the show this season as well try to get some interviews happening uh you never know i might actually end up um doing a little bit of streaming from the sabers game the home opener because i will be going to it so uh we'll see how things all tend to work out with it and you know hopefully all is good when it comes to that hopefully we don't like totally like shit the bed when when that happens but <laughs> you know we'll see what version of the sabers we get <laughs> well i will say is this and that is um I should also mention very quickly that not only are we going to be doing uh, Buffalo After Dark on Saturday just to start off, but we're also doing road. Me and Brett are doing Road to Thirty Two mm -hmm. in the end of September for Week Four for Sunday Night Football between the Bills and the Ravens in Baltimore. So keep that in mind. And of course, in the end of October or mid towards the end of October for Week Eight, which is you, me, and Brittany, the three of us are going to Seattle for the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. And then in Week Ten, which is after a week after the election is uh, the Bills and the Colts. And Britt and I will be in Indianapolis, Indiana for that game. Yeah. So, hmm? the oh, God, I'm scared. What does the report say? Britt just told me the reports just came out. Oh, boy. If she has all five of us or all six of us, I want to see which they have to say because this is ought to be interesting. Just... Oh, just yours? Where did you go for that? came through my... It got to know from my email, but it went to fantasy football, so... Damn. Oh, uh, I only got a grade D. What does it say? What did they explain why? What does it say? I'm reading. <laughs> oh God, you're so impossible. I just got it. Uh, well, and um, Tom mm -hmm. and Adam, Tom got an A plus, Adam got an A minus, Rob got B plus, you got a C minus, and then me and Andy got D. The projected standings are Tom is going to go 13 and 2, Adam's going to go 10 and 5. Rob is gonna go nine and six. You're gonna go seven and eight, babe. I'm gonna go. Me and Andy are gonna go three and twelve. Three and twelve. Are you <laughs> oh God! <That's> disrespectful. <laughs> I was gonna say you've never gone three and twelve in this league. <laughs> and you were telling me you're down. You're down. You're the one who always like grabs in first round, dude. I didn't grab him in the first round, dude. Hey, if anyone's wondering who put together these draft recaps, it says it's uh, it's the Toyota draft recap summary powered by ChatGPT. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. So we yeah. got AI talking here. <laughs> A toddler would have told you that. Like, God almighty, that's just horrible. <laughs> God, so and AI I, is... You have three people on the bye week six... It's like it might leave you scrambling for replacements, <laughs> and also having two people on the same team might bring 
synergy, but also raises concerns about dissatisfaction. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brett, let's give you some time to vent. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> No. Do it. No. Do, it. Yeah. Do it. You know you know it's an uncensored show. <laughs> That's messed up. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> you know what? You know what? If I win the Super Bowl for a second time in a year, I'm going to come back and read this report again and see what they want to talk about. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. D. A solid D. <laughs> Everybody is even just evenly distributed evenly on the buys. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that's disrespectful. <laughs> oh man. Oh, even better. It looks like Brit Rat might need a bit of magic to turn his draft disaster into a championship spell. Wait, what? No, this is what it says on her thing. So it says, In the latest draft for Buffalo After Dark, Brit Rat manages to secure a solid D grade, hinting at a season filled with more downs and ups. With a projected record of 3-12-0, they seem destined to dwell in the depths of the standings. Despite some glimmers of hope with Chris Olave as her best pick snagged at 32 when the average draft position was Chris Olave is my best pick! Right. They stumbled with their worst pick, reaching for David Montgomery at 17, who has an average draft pick of 52. Then it, <laughs> then it also says, adding to the woes, Brit Brat faces the challenge of having three players on bye week six, potentially leaving them scrambling for replacements. The trio of Tyreek Hill, Miami, and Raheem Mostert from the same team might bring synergy, but it also raises concerns about diversification. It looks like Brit Brat might need a bit of magic to turn this draft disaster into a championship spell. <laughs> Level of uh, and that was written <laughs> by AI. Wait, I'll have to see what my one was last year. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, chat GPT, you're roasting us. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What does it say about me? What does it say about me? All right. Let's see yours. And then read yours after. I want to see this. Yep. All right. So here's the recap powered by chat GPT AI. In the whimsical world of fantasy drafts, Bass Pro Kicker found themselves in the middle of the pack, not quite dazzling the crowd with their selections. Despite a valiant effort, their performance only merited a lackluster C- grade, leaving room for improvement. The crystal ball foresees a modest 7-8-0 record, placing them in the middle of the pack at 4th, a position that might not elicit thunderous applause. While the draft had its highs and lows, Bass Pro Kicker managed to snag a gem in Cooper Cup at pick 51, outshining their peers who might have overlooked his shining star. However, not all that glitters is gold, as the selection of CJ Stroud at pick 10 raised a few eyebrows, diverging significantly from the anticipated value. With four players on bye week six, it seems Bass Pro Kicker might need a touch of magic to navigate through that challenging week and secure their fantasy kingdom. What a crock of shit. <laughs> what a crock of shit. Do these guys, that, did they not see how CJ Stroud played last season? I know, right? right? It's not like he won a playoff game or something. Right, right. Let's look at Rob's. <laughs> this will be funny. So, so, of course, powered by ChatGPT AI. Uh, in a draft that sparkled brighter than a dragon's horde, <laughs> Rob's remarkable team managed to snag Puka Nakua at pick 25, a steal considering their average dra draft position of 15. However, not all that glitters is gold, as they reach for Kyler Murray at pick 48, who is still available much later at average draft pick of 56. Despite these ups and downs, the draft gods have bes bestowed a solid B-plus grade upon Rob's remarkable team, predicting a 9-6-0 record and a respectable third-place finish in the league. With a schedule as tough as finding a leprechaun's pot of gold, Rob's remarkable team faces the fourth most challenging path out of the six teams. Adding a sprinkle of challenge, they'll have to navigate through week nine with two players on the bye. Yet fear not, for with their draft prowess, Rob's remarkable team is poised to turn the competition into mere peasants before their fantasy kingdom. <laughs> God, good morning. Hope yourself you have a good fucking day. <laughs> right. 
Oh, let's see what let's see what Adams uh, has here. He's pissed. I can already tell you because he's like Anthony Richardson. What the fuck? <laughs> right. right. Uh, here we go. So for Adam, it says in a draft that could rival a fantasy epic, Christian Mingle McCaffrey managed to secure a solid A minus grade, hinting at a promising season ahead. With a projected record of 10 5 0 and an anticipated second place finish, the stage is set for potential greatness. Despite facing the third toughest schedule out of six teams, this team seems ready to tackle any challenge. While navigating the draft rounds like a seasoned adventurer, Christian Mingle McCaffrey, uh, McCaffrey made some waves with their picks. Snagging Josh Jacobs at 47, well below the average draft pick at 29, was a stroke of genius. However, the selection of Kyle Pitts at 59, slightly above the average draft pick at 63, might raise a few eyebrows. With a roster, uh, with a roster building uh, boasting nine wide receivers in a league where the average is 6.3, Christian. Wait, Mingle, how many wide receivers is he have? Nine. Nine wide receivers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, yeah. With a roster boasting nine wide receivers in a league where the average is 6.3, Christian Mingle McCaffrey seems to have a clear strategy in mind. Or perhaps a slight obsession with wideouts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy crap. God. So you read mine, Brits, yours. Yeah. So it's just Andy. Yeah, let's read Andy's. Yeah. So... All right, Kittle Skittle strikes out. Draft grade D, projected fifth place finish. In the mystical realm of fantasy drafts, Kittle Skittles ventured forth from the shadows with the sixth pick in the draft order of the Buffalo After Dark. As the draft unfolded over 20 rounds, the fantasy sages um, bestowed upon them a lackluster grade of D, foreseeing a grim projected record of 3 12 0 and a desolate fifth place finish. The stars whispered a of a projected points tally of 2745.61, painting a bleak picture of the battles to come. Alas, the draft wins blew unfavorably for Kittle St Skittles, with six players consigned to the dreaded bye week 12, leaving their roster threadbare in a crucial hour. Amidst the chaos, a flicker of hope emerged with the selection of Saquon Barkley at 18, a shining beacon of promise amidst the darkness. However, this glimmer of uh, this glimmer was overshadowed by the ill-fated choice of Brock Purdy at 42, a decision that drew the ire of the fantasy gods. To compound matters, the trio of James Cook, Dalton Kincaid, and Buffalo from the same team raised eyebrows and questions alike. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know what to say. It seems like this chat GPT, whatever they're using now, just likes to roast everybody. AI is pretty good at doing that. <laughs> yeah. Really? I just want to make note that my grade last year was a C, and I won. Right? So I'm salty. I think mine was like D plus or like a C minus, some somewhere in the average. Yeah. I know I definitely was not. I think I played you in the Super Bowl, or it might have been Andy. No, I played Andy. You definitely played me in the playoffs. Yeah, I was gonna say, and I thought like I was like a B or somewhere around there, and I like al almost ended up like tanking part of the season. Yeah, I think the B I don't know. I mean. The I, I think that's pretty generous that what they were saying about Andy, but it's like the one where they say that Rob drafted nine receivers. I think that alone is just, it's just hilarious. Yeah. It's just nuts. That means he's going to have to like decrease half of his team. If he realizes it and any tight ends or backup QB, he didn't take any of them. I don't know. I'm asking. Oh, you're asking. Uh, let me take a look. Lee, come on. Well, as I say, on auto draft, like for Adam's case, like having nine wide receivers, it's going to draft best available player or top rated players. So I'm not Adam surprised. Adam did take nine wide receivers. Or whoever took nine wide receivers, if it was an auto draft, it's going to take the best wide. It's going to take the best rated players. I'm pretty sure you said it was Rob who took them. Let's see. He took one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Rob took seven wide receivers. Then how the hell is it saying he took nine? <laughs> I don't know. But it says so his lineup, he has Mike Evans, and this is just wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Mike Evans, DK Metcalf, uh Tank Dell, T. Higgins, Devontae Smith, and Calvin Ridley. Okay. Did he make changes to it? Doesn't seem like it. Interesting. That's very strange. Yeah. Unless it's Adams' team that has nine receivers. 
Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's Adam. Okay. So Adam got it auto drafted nine fucking receivers. I mean, it doesn't surprise me because auto draft just goes by ranking. Yeah, usually that's how it works. And he got the Chiefs and he got the Steelers defense. I mean, he did good on the defenses. I mean, Chiefs have a pretty decent defense. Steelers are usually good with that, so. Jeez, I can already tell you that he's probably going to be pissed off about his team. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, you took nine wide receivers, buddy. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, so is there any last words before you guys. Before we go, is there anything you guys want to say? Well, I can say that that chat GPT from Yahoo can kiss my ass. <laughs> Prove them all wrong. Yeah, n nothing like a nice little roasting. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, but no, always fun doing it. So, you know, it's a big plus. And I don't know. We'll be back, of course. We're going to kick off the season. Actually, let's put this out to the, to the group. You guys want a top five from season four, or do you guys want us to skip the top five of season four? Well, I was going to put together um, after season five, I was going to put like, or if you want me to do it prior, I was going to put together a top five list of funniest moments from the last four seasons. Yeah, we could do that. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, we could actually make like a special out of it, so... Well, you and I would have to sit down and find the ones that we like the most. Yeah, we'd have to go through, like, a lot of clips. So, yeah. But. So Ricky Purcell. Ricky Purcell? Yeah. He was supposed to be the guy that was supposed to take Brandon Ayuk's place if he got traded. Yeah, he was shot in the chest two days ago in a robbery attempt because some 17-year-old wanted to steal his Rolex. Yeah. Except the 17-year-old got shot in the in the attempt of trying to steal it. You can, only, you can be certain that he's going to... Sit out the first four games, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Yep. Probably do something like IR or whatever, but... But at least at least he's all right. That was a good thing. It Like, when he was shot, it was just a flesh wound. It missed everything vital, so... So, at least that is a good thing. It could have been much worse. Absolutely. So... But other than that... I don't know. I don't think there's really much, too much else to talk about right now. I mean, Metz not till Saturday. Yeah, Mets will gain another win in the standings, most likely, and and at least you know Braves are going down, and uh, yeah, the Mets just fit, ended it. They got the save four one, so rack up a win. There you go. Yeah, Gasper ended up going down swinging. <clears throat> Where you're going down this weekend? What's that? Wait, what did you say? No, I said Gasper went down swinging for the final out. Oh, I thought you said I guess where I'm going for this weekend. No, 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 no. Yeah, but no, good way to end it. So, <laughs> so yeah, although I might might still try to take a ride down to Pittsburgh at some point soon, too. I still have a free hotel room somewhere, so I try. To Without a that. doubt. Yeah, we'll see. But other than that, yeah, let's wrap it up. So, you know. Thanks for joining us. Always fun having you here. Take care of yourselves and each other. And we will see you we'll, next. Oh, we'll see up? you on Saturday for season five. Yeah. Or actually, yeah. Or, or we could say season, <laughs> the second episode of season five, however we want to consider it. So I would probably consider it the first since it would be a pilot. Yeah, true. All right. See you guys. <laughs> Peace.